Hi, in this video, we're going to integrate secant of theta times the tangent of theta d theta. So with respect to theta, from 0 to pi over 4. Let's carefully work through it. Solution. So we're looking for a function whose derivative is secant tangent, right? because we're integrating, we're going backwards. Well, the derivative of secant is secant tangent. So when you integrate secant tangent, you just get secant. So we have the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of secant theta, tangent theta, d theta. And again, we're integrating secant tangent. So what's a function whose derivative is secant tangent? Well, secant. And after you write it, you should always mentally check. The derivative of secant is secant tangent. However, this is a definite integral, so we're going to be going from 0 to pi over 4. You always plug in the top number first, so this is the secant of pi over 4. And then you put a minus sign, and then it's the secant of 0. Secant is 1 over cosine, so if you're not sure what the secant of pi over 4 is, you can write everything in terms of cosines. So this is 1 over cosine of pi over 4 minus 1 over cosine of 0. Cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2, so this is 1 over parentheses square root of 2 over 2 minus 1 over cosine of 0, which is 1. 1 divided by the square root of 2 over 2 is really 1 over 2 square root of 2. You multiply by the reciprocal, right? It's really, let me show you the extra step here just in case. It's really 2 over root 2 times 1 because you, um, you know, division is multiplication by the reciprocal. So, whoops, this is minus 1. This is equal to 2 over root 2 minus 1. And you can leave it like that or you can rationalize. I'm just going to leave it like that. Hopefully you've learned some math in this video. If you have, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, take care.